Hello, welcome back to Get Into It with Jason Hook with me, your host, Jason Hook. And let's get into it. First, what we're listening to is the, the Spine Faith LP, which just came out on Bridge Nine Records. Uh, these guys are out of the Kansas City, Chicago, I think it's 50 50. Insert here. And then you got lyrics. This came out about a month ago, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, these dudes mix like a very like New York hardcore sound, but with definitely like a power violence delivered vocal. As you can hear, great stuff, heavy stuff, angry shit. Highly recommend it. Check it out. With that Spine Faith on the Niner, Bridge Nine Records. I believe they have multiple LPs in uh, Seven Inches Out, but this is some heavy hitting shit, as you can hear. And I got this on pink vinyl, which I'm cool. I think it's like 300, I don't know, 400. Next, we have the Crippled Youth Repress 7 inch. Now, this just came out about a month ago, too, on Rev. Um, for those who don't know, you should. Crippled Youth is actually bold before they became bold. So. These guys are like 14, I believe, on this recording. This came out in 1986. Let's back. They just changed the logo. It's on New Beginning Records. They just switched out the New Beginning logo and the Rev, New Beginning number one logo with the Rev logos. Um, they look real close. There's a for self music today right there, jamming to this. But um, this is some classic 80s hardcore, like straight edge hardcore. I got green vinyl on this. These dudes are literally 13, 14 years old at this point. This is before, before they became bold. And that's cool. This comes with this cool 28-page booklet that's got photos, lyrics, interviews, pictures of T-shirts, photos of like them playing live when they were young, like pre-bold. It's got a little like written uh, the lyrics, like the original lyric sheets. Is another. Priscilla again. Uh, it's got dudes in the bands telling stories about the band. Dudes that were down with him, like Capo and Purcell and Craig Ahead, have little things. I believe that's from a Max. There is some Max Rock and Roll in here. But it's definitely worth a 28 page book. Um, this was readily available not that long ago, last I looked. I don't know this color, but definitely grab this if you guys, if you dig the 80s hardcore sound. And I know an original press of this used to go for a little bit of cash. I haven't looked in a while. I do not own an original press of this. Wish I did someday. But um, I saw this repress and I jumped on it right away. I know they have shit shirts made too. I don't know. I don't know if they were new shirts or just represses of the old ones. Like that would have been on '86. But a couple months ago, we got flyers right there on the back. But that's a crippled youth join the fight. Seven inch repress. Next thing I got here is a Wet Brain record. Wet Brain is a band out of Cleveland, Ohio, um, that features members of like a ton of bands. I know there's Nine Shocks, Sarah Gordon, Gordon Soli's Motherfuckers, the Darva Sets, Annihilation Time, Midnight, Nine, did I say Nine Shocks? Uh, the M-Mates, H-100s, I'm going to other, including others. This has a cool OB strip on it. This came out on um, Residue Records, number 22. Black vinyl, so what you get here. Yeah. Yeah. It comes with like a pretty one sided lyric sheet here. So, with Wet Brain, if you guys uh, I've, never, I've never heard them before, I would say they're definitely like a they're punk hardcore band with a kind of like a high pitched vocal, but uh, I would say more leaning towards a punk side of stuff. Like musically, I, I know probably Dead Kennedys will be an easy connection with the vocals. I, it's not 100% like that. If you guys like, I, I talked about the Darva sets. Same with the Darva sets, since with this band. So you got far out crazy lyrics, far out songs, just really cool shit. And this is Wet Brain. Next, we have Character Actor out of New Jersey. Now, this is a new band. Uh, this just came out a few a month ago as well it's just it's just like purple mash vinyl so this is a band made up of I think it's, I believe it's a three piece the singer of the Nightbirds plays drums 
Uh, the guy from the Ergs is in this band. It's just a little side project they were doing while their bands were kind of like, you know, I mean, the Ergs are broken up, but Nightbirds are just on a hiatus, not torn right now, writing a new record. So I decided to do this. It's kind of pop punky, I would say, like, um, Street Dream Weasley, Descendancy, Ergsy. Uh, the cool thing about these is a video. They ran these through an old school press, so this is actually indented when it's printed. It's like it's a crank press that, that did all the hand did all the covers for this. Um, I got it from Dirt. Is it Dirt Nap or Dirt Cult? I wrote it down so I don't remember. Dirt Cult Records. You might still be able to find this, but it's definitely like melodic pop punk. Highly recommend it. Check it out. It's character actor self titled. Just came out. Next thing I got here is this fetish seven inch. This is a two-song 7-inch from, uh, these guys are out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, it's a guy from, um, Long Knife and the Riffs. So I'm gonna make sure. Alright. Um, very spazzy, very fuzzed out, distorted hardcore. Uh, the B-side is actually a cover by a band called Love. Um, so the house is not a hotel, a motel, which I've never heard, so... But it's a very simple, simple packaging. I believe there's no lyrics. Let me find oh, there is a, or is, oh, there is an insert. She's got like a live. Lyric. So we got a lyric sheet in here. Sorry, I'm spacing, guys. All right, it's on Future Penman Records. Really cool shit. Definitely check it out if you like that kind of fuzzed out, distorted hardcore with crowd vocals over it. I definitely recommend it, but that's fetish. Next I have is the new Modern Life is War. Um, two songs, seven inch they just put out. Uh, Tribulation Work Songs, Volume 1. So Modern Life is War is from Marshalltown, Iowa. For case you guys didn't know, in the early 2000s, they pretty much ran their own scene out of Marshalltown, out of a garage, I believe. Um, they put out a, a self-titled seven inch, which I loved. They've since put out multiple LPs. Um, I think they break it up, got broken up, got back together. They play every once in a while. But this is a project they did. This is on Deathwish Records. So what they did here with this is that he wrote all this on a typewriter and they made it into a stamp. So these are hand stamps, like this part here and this part here. And then the, all the lyrics are hand stamped on this with a stamp. And then if you pull the record out, I got the red vinyl. I don't know if you can see. The band, the, like, these were printed in out of state. Then they hand stamped the sides here. With what, the, with what song was on what side. So they put a lot of effort into this. Just a cool little project. More melodic, newer, hardcore, I would say. I really, really dug the old stuff a lot on the, like for this band, a lot. So it was cool to, to get this. I, I pre-ordered. I believe it's still available. They printed a lot of them. They're all on different color vinyl, but I would say definitely check it out if you love Modern Life is War. This, for me, goes back to the earlier sound. It kind of advanced your sound a little bit over time. I don't, I didn't dislike it, but this goes back if you like, you know, if you like the self-title, this is right up the alley. But that's Modern Life is War, Tribulation, Work Songs, Volume 1. I assume there's going to be more. Next, I got Chain Whip. Um, this is another newer band. I think I wrote down where they're from. Did I or did I forget? I forgot. But uh, um, Josh, I follow him on Instagram. He follows me back. Uh, this is his band. Um, this is really fucking awesome shit. Uh, this was a total blind buy. I was buying that character actor 7-inch, and these were up, so I listened to like 30 seconds of the song and ordered it. Um, so this is some great shit. It's on Dirt Cult Records. Uh, I would say melodic punk. You got the... White, white on the A, black on the B side. I don't know where they're out of. I should have wrote it down, but I would definitely check this out. It seems to be flying out of the under the radar, but Chain Whip, fucking banger, great shit. Definitely, definitely check this record out if you guys like melodic punk. The dudes, if you want to do the thing with the shirts, the guitar players wearing a no problem shirt. So that would, you know, that gives you the gist. But I'd say it's a little bit more dirtier than no problem. But it's definitely some great shit, but that's that's Chain Whip. What's up, dude? I'm going to tag you in this. I don't know if you watch my videos. I should have wrote down more. I'm an idiot. should have wrote something down to say, but I'm a dork. And I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, I, I did actually. Vancouver, British Columbia. 
But I mean, I would say like, you know, weirdos, circle jerks, that kind of stuff. If you dig that, you'll dig this. I'm going to flip this record. I'm going to leave this playing. This might be a short video, guys. On to side B. So, uh, last Friday I went to Jerry's Kids' last show in Boston, which is cool. I picked up this FU shirt. It's an old print. It's a copy of the old one. Stoked. I was stoked when I saw it. I was like, yeah, these are 3XL. And they're like, yep, like, fat, fat, punchy night. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, next I have No Parole. These guys are out of New Jersey. This came out on Man of the World Records. I'll show you the back here. So, No Parole. These dudes play like an, an oi-ish influenced hardcore or hardcore influenced oi. Either way you want to put it. Um, I really dug it. This, I, I've seen this band. I've seen this record. I've seen some No Parole shirts. I just never picked up the record because I'm a lazy fuck. But now I have it. And uh, you should get it too. I believe I might, I might have grabbed this off of uh, Death Wish was doing a sale and I bought a bunch of stuff. This is all going to be 45s by the way. Video. But that's no parole. Buy it. I don't know if there's still a band. I don't know if someone can answer this. If Jesse can answer this. They might be. Next I have Shrapnel. This is on Triple B Records. Shrapnel is out of the Leeds out of Leeds, UK. Triple B is out of Boston. <laughs> So we get here. So you got the insert here. It's kind of got a graffiti esque thing on it. Uh, this is a, the U.S. pressing on Triple B. The U.K. pressing was on Quality Control. Um, the U.K. pressing has actually different art too that Andy did from Born Piss that I talked about last week. Actually, I'll get into some with him next. Andy Fletcher. So this is like 80 sounding New York hardcore, just driving. With the, with, the, with the, you know, I've talked about it on this channel numerous times before, I've talked about it in other places, but the new wave of British hardcore sound, which is fucking huge. It's just black vinyl. Definitely, definitely recommend this band. It's a members of a million bands from the UK. Just definitely check this shit out. I, think that, I, I mean, I could have just been sleeping on it. This might have flown on the radar. It's four years old. But that shrapnel, uh, frenzied state. Can't recommend this stuff enough. enough. It's a, all these kind of have a theme for the most part. Now, speaking of Andy, who did the UK artwork for Shrapnel, here's his band called Burden. These just came out. I just got this in the mail on Monday, this past month. Well, no, Saturday. Ah, uh, this past Saturday. So this fucking rules. This is like New York hardcore, again, mixed with Oi. He did the art for this. Very, very um, awesome art on this. It's, uh, released on Neutral Accent Records. What's up? Um, what's up, Sean? You got a little live shot there. Then you got the lyrics here. Super awesome fucking heavy hitting stuff. Uh, definitely the oi influence, gruffer, bo heavier vocal. Um, I highly recommend it again with everything else I talk about. I'm beating that phrase to death. Uh, get this from Born Piss. I'll leave a link directly from him. Put the money right in his hand. Very simple, just black. A and B. They have like, two demos out in another seven. Well, they have a demo tape that got pressed onto a seven inch. And then they have another tape and then that's this. But that's Burden. Heavy shit, check it out. Here's the album a little bit different than Burden. Um, this is a new Proletariat record. Uh, this came out, also came out on Bridge Nine along with Spine, which we're listening to now. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Proletariat was an early 80s Massachusetts punk band. Very, very different than the sound that was at the time. Very melodic, very political. Very political. Um, very, con very left. Um, so this is their first recording in 30 years, and um, Pushback, which is a B-side, kind of has like a newer sound, I mean, not newer, but The Murder of Alton Sterling literally sounds like it came off Soma Holiday, which is the most, what was their LP. It literally sounds like an old song from the early 80s. Shittily that it's about, you know, something that happened in the current day and age. But uh, I'm stoked Bridge and I gave these guys a chance. This is their first recording in 30-something years. I know this is not everyone's taste, I'm not going to tell you people that it is. But definitely check this out. If you like political punk rock, check it out. 
Um, check out the early stuff. Buy this, buy this, man. Buy this from, from Bridge Nine. Let them know that you give a shit about this kind of stuff if it's your jam. Because it's, uh, it's great. And this is kind of like a weird, smoky, clear vinyl. I'm not sure about the numbers on it. I pre-ordered this the first thing I saw, the first time I saw it go up, because I'm a big proletariat fan. When they started playing out again, I was psyched. I've seen it like three times now. But um, if you like your punk political, um, these dudes are from the New Bedford area, Fall River area, I believe. He, sometimes he sounds like he has a little bit of an English inflection in his singing, but it's still great. Check it out. I cannot recommend this enough. If, if political punk's your jam. It's the ly- lyrically just a whole mess. I'm going to post a link below. It's going to be a music video for the murder of Al- Alton, St- uh, Alton Sterling. You have to check it out. Did I say Alton Brown earlier? I'm Alton Sterling. Uh, you definitely have to check it out. Just get into it. Next thing I have here is the Deadlock 7-inch. Uh, this came out on Painkiller Records. There's 500 of these pressed. It's 250 with this red cover. And I guess there's 250 that have a yellow cover. It's the same art. Um... All black vinyl, simplistic, simplistic center labels. Just the name of the band on there. Um, this band is made up of members. It says right here, members of No Tolerance, Violent Reaction, Arms Race, and Chain Ring. So pretty much, this member is made up of new, new uh, wave of British hardcore band members and Boston hardcore, newer Boston hardcore band members. Um, you got a real simplistic insert here, just lyrics typed out. So it's a mix of that new wave of British hardcore sound and the Boston sound, where it's simplistic, but it's not, like, you know, boring. Uh, I, I dug this a lot. I know there was a big buzz around this for a while, so I don't know if they... If, I know these were selling real quick. I don't know if it kind of leveled out. I've, known, I've had this for probably three months. I just jammed it not that long ago. But I, this is some great shit, too. Uh, if you guys have noticed, if, this, if it's on here, I like it. I do buy vinyl I don't like. I just don't talk about it, because, I mean, what am I going to do? But, uh... I definitely, t- definitely recommend this band, this record. If you see it out in the wild, you'll get a chance to grab one. It's on Painkiller. It's, it's just, it's American, American and British hardcore mixed together. Just a proper sound. Uh, I think it's like nine songs. Just punch you in the face. Fifty seconds, fifty-six seconds, a buck thirty, and a buck fifteen. It's a B side. And then you got fifty-two seconds, forty-six seconds, fifty-five seconds, one minute, twenty-seven seconds. So, you blink and they're gone, but. That's Deadlock, self-titled, check it out. Next, I know I'm gonna fucking destroy the pronunciation of this band, but this is Scurd, uh, Scurd, Scurd, I don't know how to say it. Now this band is half people from Italy and half people from Berlin, Germany. Um, you got a simple, simple lyric sheet here. I'm gonna play this with this record ends before we're done. Um, it's members from Love Provora, and um, I believe another really well-known Italian hardcore band that I'm going to totally space on right now. This was a blind buy. It's uh, definitely a little bit more raw than I would say La Prevore is. A little bit more deep beatish, uh, fuzzy, if that makes any sense. But it's fucking great. I really dug this. This is another blind. I've been doing some blind buys. Sale. But uh, I definitely suggest you check this out. Beginning on the end, Skurd. Um, like I said, half half Berlin, Germany, half half Italy. Grab it. And look at that art. It's so simple but so awesome. I'd definitely rock this shirt. Look like a weirdo, but I'd still wear it. Make a 3XL shirt, guys. Oh, shit, I'm almost done. Uh, next, I have Arms Race, which harking back to everything you've heard me talk about today. New wave of British hardcore band. Uh, this is their newest 7-inch, The Beast. Again, a couple months ago. Three months ago, I think it came out. Um, this was, I believe, ha- on pain- this is on Painkiller. I think Quality Control Hardcore did the UK pressing. I could be wrong. Um, this is a US pressing. I got it from Painkiller, the guy who does Painkiller, out of his distro. Big 45 hole. You got four songs here of just hateful fucking hardcore. Away from that metal shit, just fucking hardcore. Like right here, the back photo just sums up what you're about to hear. Like seriously. Angry fucking punch you in the face, nihilistic fucking hardcore, which is what I love. <laughs> I, I love the insert on this. Look at that. Got the Union Jack with the barbed wire peace sign. Opens up the lyrics. Songs aren't long on this at all. Look at the lyric here. They'll dictate who we elect, they control it all. What do you expect? <laughs> But yeah, this is just some 
fucking hit, hard hitting, hardcore, brutal shit, playing hard, getting angry. I, I have an MP3s list. I jam it in the car when I'm driving to work. I like the butt crack of dawn. Screaming out my window. <laughs> Next, um, we uh, I've unified right. Uh, this came out. I believe 2015. So this is on this is on purple vinyl. This is out of 300. This is also on triple B. I grabbed a bunch of triple B stuff. I got it actually for sale. Sorry guys. <laughs> um. So you got your simple insert here. I love the logo of just the arm, the hand holding the mic. You got the insert here. Then playing live. These guys just put on LP two, which I bought, which will be in a future video. Um, but they're out of Florida. It's hardcore. A little bit of a melodic cue. Not like a wimp melodic, but there is a little bit of melody to it more so than some other stuff. Um, dude's rocking a Fury shirt right there. But I've never seen this band. I know they've played here, but I've missed it for, you know, whatever bizarre reason because I'm lazy. But I definitely had to pick this up. I picked up the LP. You'll see that in a future episode probably next month or so. And my wife just walked in the door, so I think my dinner's here. Because you're supposed to pick it up. Hello. Hi. So, all right, that's all I got today. So we just blitz through. Let's see what we got. Three, six, nine, twelve. Fourteen EPs. That's not bad. And an LP. So that's all I got. Um, I'm heading out. Fourteen. Yeah. I'm heading out to uh, this is hardcore on Thursday. So if you're in Philly, I guess I'll see you there. Friday night's the night. Um. Buy stuff from Born Pissed. Uh, listen to my friends' Adventure, Adventures in Poor Taste Wrestling podcast, which I'll link again. I keep on plugging them. I might be a guest on there soon, sooner than later. And uh, that's all I got. See you later.